Hi everyone, I'm Melos Hantani, and I have some uh, exciting news today about our new game, Stephanie. Well, for one, it's out, but actually, if you want to know how the controls in this game work, I open-sourced and made free and available to use in any project the source code to the controller of the game. Uh, you can find a link to that in the description. Um, what I did was I uploaded the camera controls and the player controls that are in the release version of Stephanie, and I put them in a, an example project that you can open in uh, any version of Unity that's newer than 2019.4.2. Uh, and for example, the player controller here, it's about 4,000 lines, and it shows you how the wall running works, how the jumping works, the sprinting, uh, everything. I also have a file for the camera code, and uh, these work right out of the box if you open them in Unity. Um, yeah, and I also have an explanation of how the code works, this long document about the various functions, how I split the logic of the game, uh, wall running, um, little tricks that I did, uh, all free to use inside of this uh, repository of the game. Um, yeah, so how do you use it? Well, you just go to the page in the link, and you go and you click download zip file, and then all you gotta do is jump over to your Unity Hub, click Add, and open the project, and that's it. Um, it'll open up this little test scene. It's basically a the first level of the game with broken art uh, for reasons that are explained in the repository. But you'll see right over here, you got your player, um, you have the camera, and then you have some other stuff, which isn't as important. Uh, so let me just show you that working right now. If I hit play, you can explore this test level with the player controller. Um, you got all the features in the main game except for the entities. Uh, you can't pause, so actually it'd be right to say it doesn't actually have all the features of the main game. But, uh, but yeah, you can test out stuff, you can even tweak the code. Um, you can see how things work. I hope it's useful to learn from. Uh, something else cool you can do is, in the inspector, if you've used Unity, you can click over to My Player, which is the code, the component that controls the player stuff, and you can change the variables about the character's speed. So, for example, I can make myself walk very fast. Look how fast I'm walking. Oh, I fell. Um, let's, let's go like... 100 fast. So now I'm going 100 fast. I'm going so fast that I can't even stay on the platforms. Uh, you can start to see why is it good that you don't go too fast in a game? Well, because then you would, then it would be like this. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's a lot of other variables you can modify. As you can see, in a finished 3D platformer, uh, there's a lot of variables. I don't even know what these variables do anymore. It's been so long. Um, but yeah, you can also modify the camera. It has its own script here, and change how the camera works. If you don't like how the camera works in Stephanie, you can fix it. But uh, look here, I can change how far it is from the player. I can do this. I have, a, I have a really far camera. I can't even see where I am anymore. Um, yeah, so <laughs> if you enjoyed that, well, go ahead and download it here. But also, um, okay. Stephanie is out now on all platforms. Well, PC at least. So please give it a download. It's still on sale. Leave a review if you haven't yet. And a like, comment, subscribe, and share this, this video about a free-to-use 3D platformer controller. Thanks.